You tend to know when you're a young age whether you're a sprinter or a distance runner and it's just naturally just part of your makeup. Um, and I realised at a young age that I was more of a sprinter than a distance runner. Um, I found that work obviously a lot easier, I enjoyed it and I thought obviously this is the way forward and that's when I first became involved with uh, multi-events. My favourite event is the 100 metre hurdles and this is where I accumulate the majority of my points which is really nice because it's the beginning of the heptathlon so it gets you off to a good starter. Mentally the girls that we compete against, i.e. outside of Britain, um, tend to know that when us British girls step onto the track for the hurdles we mean business and you can often tell in terms of their body language how up for the actual competition they are and there are just a few of us really that ex actually excel in the 100 metre hurdles but it's a real advantage to get on the, off on a good foot on your first event. My attitude is just go for it. Um, I know that obviously I have my strengths and weaknesses, but if I don't apply myself to every event, then I can't expect to get my best. In training, however, it's very different. We tend to dedicate twice as much time to our weaknesses than we do our strengths. So for example, I tend to do shot put twice a week and maybe only focus on the hurdles or the long jump perhaps once a week. I use the smaller competitions just as practice because they tend to be more relaxed. I tend to be able to focus on technical aspects of my performance rather than just you know, going flat out. So I'll perhaps compete in the high jump or the shot put at smaller meetings during the year. There's a real fine line between pushing yourself obviously over the limit and knowing your body really, really helps. Um, I tend to know when I start to feel little bits of pain or little niggles just when to back off. It's very relaxed and we're all very amicable and friendly until it comes down to competition and that's when um, we all kind of switch. It's kind of uh, head on, you know, focus and, and concentration but I find it's really nice to have someone that you can really relate to and talk to as a coach. It really makes a difference when it comes down to those critical moments, for example, when you've maybe done two no jumps in the long jump. You don't always want someone that's going to panic and, and stress you out. So that, in that sense, Aston's a brilliant coach. You're dynamic enough right, to get across it. Well, you then got to concentrate on what happens when I get there. You can't do a heptathlon week in, week out, as you can do with single events, you know, long jump, 100 metres, etc. It takes, obviously, a lot more out of your body. So, like the events such as marathon, we get a certain amount of opportunities to do that per year. We'd normally come out in about May in order to put our first performance down and then aim to consolidate that at the championships in order to secure the points that we need going into the following year. But luckily enough, I've got the A standard for the London 2012 Olympics, so we can begin focusing on Daegu and obviously London in 12 months' time. Happy days. <laughs>